Aerobic Respiration by Trevor Peterson, Dylan Deke, and Jane Stevens. In redox, also known as oxidative reduction reactions of aerobic respiration, one molecule loses an electron or is oxidized, while one molecule gains an electron or is reduced. Leo Ger means lose electron oxidize and gain e electron reduced. Redox reactions are the transfer of electrons from one molecule to the other. These electrons come from organic molecules and move on to electron carriers, such as NADH and FADH2, to fuel oxidative phosphorylation. Glycolysis is the first step of cellular respiration. Glycolysis is the, first, is the process where gly glucose is split into two three-carbon molecules called pyruvate. To split them, two phosphates from two molecules of ATP are added onto the glucose. This is called phosphorylation. This unstable molecule is then split into two molecules, each still having one phosphate attached to them. Redox reactions then convert NAD plus to NADH, adding another phosphate to each of the molecules. They now, they now both have two phosphates attached to either side. Then two enzymes, each with two active sites, convert ADP to ATP by removing the phosphates off of each three carbon molecule. This is called sus substrate level phosphorylation. This creates two stable molecules of pyruvate with a net yield of two ATP, two NADH, and two pyruvate, plus a byproduct of water. Before the Krebs cycle can occur, pyruvate, pyruvate oxidation must take place. In this process, NAD plus is converted to NADH, making a two carbon molecule. This last molecule is released as carbon dioxide. Acetyl coenzyme A then attaches to the co coenzyme molecule, creating uh, acetyl coenzyme A. The Krebs cycle can now begin. The Krebs cycle starts when acetyl coenzyme A binds with a four carbon oxalate <laughs> to form a six carbon molecule. This molecule is unstable, so one carbon leaves this and the molecule in the form of CO2, and the electron is added to NAD plus to make NADH. Now that you have a five carbon molecule, the process will start over adding one ADP molecule in the process. This four carbon molecule then converts FAD to FADH2 and NAD plus to NADH to then regenerate ox, ox, oxaloacetate. <laughs> oxalo this entire molecule occurs, the entire process occurs twice. The net yield of the Krebs cycle is 2 ATP, 6 NADH, 2 FADH2, 4 CO2, and 4 CO2 is a byproduct. After this occurs, oxidative phosphorylation occurs at the electron transport chain. This process occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Before going into this process, it is important to know that you have both NADH and FADH2. NADH and FADH2 are then converted into NAD plus and FAD through redox reactions. The electrons are released in this process, then move through the electron transport chain, which is a system of four integral mitochondria oh, membrane complexes. All of these H plus electrons are forced through the inner mitochondrial membrane into the inner membrane space through active transport. This creates a concentration gradient. The H plus ions then diffuse back into the cytosol through ATP synthase. In this, the eight H plus allows the ATP synthase to function, converting ADP into ATP. The electrons and H plus are accepted by O2 and creating H2O as a byproduct. The net yield of this process creates 28 ATP.